here. Thank you. For an interview with Christina Huatma requires an internet connection because it's tough to know which time zone she'll be in on a given day. Offices in St. Louis, New York, and San Francisco will do that. Good luck catching her in person. Yeah, I always say I live in the internet, so that's where you can find me. That life online is the result of her company, Scopio, short for Scope It Out. They're mining the internet for images, claiming unprecedented efficiency. Finding those images can get anyone who takes them a paycheck. Where the major points are and where my heart has been for many years now with this company is to have an automated system that goes through the noise of social media. So now we're actually at about 94% accuracy in detecting whether or not we think that image is original or not. So it comes through a search engine that we built. They will tell you that proprietary search engine is the secret sauce that fuels their operation. It's also what they're pitching to an audience of marketers and other potential clients on this day in St. Louis. The basic idea, eliminate the old stock photo, offer more authentic pictures taken by social media users, then pave the way for a business to use the picture and the photographer to get paid. There are so many photos and videos that are taken, posted to social media every day, just as like a remembrance thing, sharing with family and friends. Um, I don't think most people necessarily think that their work is worth uh, money and worth a company's time, but it definitely is. A photographer will be paid half of what an image is sold for on Scopio's marketplace, and on what's called the dashboard, they can earn more money for high-profile uses of an image or video. They say the biggest challenge to making these relationships happen is the sheer volume of media being posted on the Internet. There's 4 billion images posted every day on social media, and we feel that there hasn't really been a holistic solution to try to organize different topic areas um, and make them like at large. At, versus just finding influencers or people that can, can use content. So ultimately, it operates like a Google search. Um, that includes our natural language processing, which enriches a client's search, and also the image filtering that we use to determine which kinds of photos and videos are the most relevant. So that's kind of what makes us stand out. And that is how innovative tech lands at the forefront of what is essentially a media company. The people they're pitching are not all tech types. Brands and publishers are more the target, but Hawatma had to successfully navigate the male-dominated Silicon Valley gauntlet to fill a need in this decidedly Madison Avenue business. Yeah, when you're starting off, it's so scary. And then once you start to get, it's not even confidence, it's data points. So I say, you know, I've been in TechCrunch, I went to Columbia's startup lab, I got an arch grant, I've raised venture funding, I haven't worked with companies like Google before, you know, and, and that speaks for itself more than anything else. That has most recently led to a place in the Silicon Valley Accelerator 500 startups. Where it goes next will depend on the intersection of art and science. Will those algorithms consistently find the perfect picture? For Innovations, I'm George Sells.